Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Review of the Weinstein. This is by Fred and Friends. It's Genuine Fred, it says. So this is from the company Fred and Friends. I don't know if they manufacture the products, but they definitely do a good job marketing, and there's some quality control with these products. Um, so I've, bought, I've reviewed other products from Fred and Friends, and they all turned out to be kind of cool, kind of in their, their good, good products. So uh, we'll see if this one turns out to be a good product as well. Uh, the Weinstein, let's see on, on the back. You like, or, uh, you like your wine, but sometimes you're just more comfortable with a mug. Well, this double wall do-it-all uh, lets you have it both ways. Elegant wine stem on the inside, manly beer stein on the outside. It's a glass for all reasons, so pour yourself a nice measure, measure of vino. Grab it with gusto, thoughtfully inhale the bouquet, then toss it back. Mmm, vivacious and pithy, with just a hint of irony. All right, let's open it up, see what's inside, and you have presenting the Weinstein. There it is. Let's get a better angle on that. That's what the Weinstein looks like, and it's a beer stein that has a wine glass inside. So, and then on the bottom it says Fred, made in China, 2009, and uh, some of you might th be thinking this is going to be like a, a stein glass. This is kind of a lightweight um, glass. It's not as heavy as you think it would be uh, if you call it a stein. Um, glass on the bottom, hollow on the inside, wine-shaped sh glass. Um, you know, the stein surrounds the wine glass, basically. And uh, let's try it out, see if this actually works, see if I can recommend it. All right, so here it is. We have a wine glass for comparison. This is what just a standard wine glass looks like. Here is the wine stein. And now I'm going to pour wine in just a standard wine glass. Let's see. And look at that. So that's the wine in a standard wine glass. Now let's pour it in the Weinstein. Here we go. And look at that. So yeah. Let me just get a close-up of that. Look at that. So I can see the benefits of this, like, you know, if you're sitting at your coffee table or whatever, and you kind of accidentally bump it, uh, instead of the glass tumbling over, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate, uh, happens a lot, this is a lot more stable. So it's, although it's a novelty item, it's cool and it's functional at the same time. So I think this would not only make a great gift or just something to buy for yourself, but it's something that actually people will use again and again, and they may actually prefer the wine sign to an actual wine glass or a regular wine glass. I mean, you may, may I mean, even serving this to the company, I mean, that might be an idea as well. I mean, it's a nice, uh, you know, conversation starter, a novelty item that's actually functional. It looks good. I like the brand, so definitely, definitely recommend the Wine Stein by Fred and Friends, and you can buy that online for I think about fifteen to twenty dollars. A little expensive, but. Uh, I think it's worth it. So thanks for watching my videos. And if you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash 9malls.